try it again. How are we doing today? They were going to save the best for last, but I have a plane to catch later on today, so they had a big one. No, honestly, we're very blessed to be here. Uh, we just got in today from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, we at Red Hats America um, started our national tour, and that was our very first stop. Uh, we went to Clay Clark's Reawaken America tour in Grand Rapids, and we just came here, and we fly back to Myrtle Beach tonight. So, I have a question for y'all. Is there anyone in here who is a high schooler, or is there anyone in here who is a parent of a high schooler or have grandkids? Raise your hand. A few of you? I have one message. Stop sending your kids to public universities and college. That is a waste of money. Here, I'm going to tell you a little story. So in high school, I grew up in Cumberland, Maryland, which is about two hours away from here. And I wanted to be a sports broadcaster. I really wasn't interested in politics. I was student government president, though. And I kind of followed politics, but I really wasn't active. Um, so I went to go to West Virginia University. I know that's not a popular place around here in Pittsburgh. But I went to go there to be a sports broadcaster. I went down to Myrtle Beach to vacation, and I stumbled across Coastal Carolina University. And I toured the school and found a major that I was really interested in, just caught my eye, and it was intelligence and national security. So I decided last minute that I would go down to Coastal Carolina University in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, moving from a blue state of Maryland down to a red state of South Carolina. I was thinking I was going to be going down to other like-minded conservatives like me instead of being stuck in a leftist blue state that I just had to get out of. So I go down to Coastal Carolina, and I start taking my major classes. And right now, I just turned 20 years old, I'm about ready to graduate in December, and I don't even want to continue my major or the school. And here's why. I have a professor who is one of the head professors of the program at Coastal Carolina University. And the first day of our class in January, he gave out a syllabus. And within the syllabus, it said, right-wing media is a cesspool of deceit and disinformation. And then it listed all of them, Fox News, Breitbart, Newsmax. And then he says that if you consume this media, no one in our faculty or staff is going to respect you or take you seriously. I immediately sent an email to the dean. I immediately sent an email to the president of the school. They got back with me, they said I have every right to feel concerned, and they were going to have an investigation. They didn't have an investigation whatsoever, they didn't do one thing to the professor, and he's still there indoctrinating people. I called him out in class. He says, CNN produces facts. He says, people who listen to Fox News, oh, I just broke the mic. People who listen to Fox News live, quote, on unicorn land. So he's pushing a narrative, and this is happening all across the schools in the United States. So, that being said, I felt called that I had to get involved. I wanted to get involved politically, I wanted to become active, because I never really was before. So this past May, um, in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, I stumbled upon um, Red Hats America. And Red Hats America, is a local grassroots organization that was Red Hats for Trump from 2016 to 2020. And how it happened was in 2015, right before, or right when uh, Donald Trump announced his run for president, our founder, Don Baum, watched him come down the airplane stairs at one of his events in a red hat. And he thought, I have to do something to spread this movement and get people involved and get Donald Trump's message out. He bought thousands and thousands of red hats, just plain red hats, and he put a Trump sticker on it. And with that, he would go out and wear one of them to restaurants, just wherever he was out in public. Anyone who came up to him and said, hey, I like your hat, I love Trump, he would give them a hat, number it, take a picture, and post it on Facebook. So he grew this grassroots organization of thousands of people. And he realized now, in 2021, that we want to further the movement, 
We want to educate more people, and we can't do that just by giving out free Red Hats. So we decided to turn this into Red Hats America, and I am Vice President of Public, Re Public Relations for Red Hats America. And our motto is, Keeping America, America. Everyone say it. Keeping America, America. And we're going to do this in three ways. Number one, we are going to preserve and protect our founding documents, such as the Constitution. Joe Biden has said that no amendment is absolute. I'm sorry to tell him that's incorrect, unless the Supreme Court says something otherwise. They want to abolish our First Amendment. I had 70,000 followers on TikTok, the social media of TikTok, and I was banned just for posting conservative content. Does that seem like it's a violation of my First Amendment? Absolutely. I restarted another one. I got up to 20,000. I was spreading my message again, banned again. I was banned three times in total. The left is taking away our First Amendment. They're also taking away our Second Amendment. They want gun control. Beto O'Rourke, during the Democratic presidential primaries, on stage said, Hell yes, we're coming for your AK 47s. Hell yes, we're coming for your AR 15s. We're not giving them up. No. Absolutely. Congresswoman Lauren Boebert went to one of her or his events, went up to the mic and said, Hell no, you're not. And Red Hats America will stand here and fight for our amendments, our constitution, our founding documents. But we are not going to let the left destroy them. The second way that we are going to keep America America is we are going to promote small business prosperity. This past year, during COVID, the left shut down our nation. So many small business owners lost their jobs, lost money. The people who are working in small businesses lost money. They had to close up. We at Red Hats America believe that small businesses are the heart and soul of the American economy. And, with, and without small businesses, their owners, and their hardworking employees, our economy would lose meaning, and it would lose its hardworking value. And the third way we're going to do this is we are going to further Donald Trump's America First agenda. We're going to stop apologizing for America. We're going to start standing up. We are going to make America the respected country that she was when Donald Trump was in office. We are going to clean up our streets. We are going to put Americans first. And we are going to put our homeless veterans first before we ever put an illegal immigrant first in this country. So, this is our second event. Within four days, we are starting the national movement. We have a website, redhatsamerica.com. This is just now launching. We're going to be doing so many things across the country. Um, so you guys can go check us out on there, learn more about us, learn what we're going to further do. We're going to be setting up membership where we're going to be partnering with businesses. Uh, we are going to hold rallies. We are going to hold events where our politicians are going to be held accountable. You see, for way too long, we have elected our politicians and we forget to hold them accountable. They go to Washington, D.C., and they work for themselves. Any politician who tells you, I want to run for office one day, is going to be in there for 40 plus years taking your taxpayer money. I am someone who feels that if I run for office, I'm going to be called to run for office. So when I turn 25, if I feel I should run for office and feel called to run for office for Congress, then I will. But I don't want to ever hear another politician say, I want to run for office. It's all for themselves. And we need to put we the people back into Washington, D.C. So, that being said, uh, we are on Facebook, Red Hats America. Uh, our website is redhatsamerica.com. We also have shirts over here. There's three different types of shirts. We have them for $20. We also have buttons, one for three and two for five. So I'd like to say God bless you all. Thank you for having us here. And we hope to be back very soon. And we are going to keep Pennsylvania red and deep red because it was red during the 2020 presidential election. It was not blue.